Hello. G'day and welcome to Oscar Modeling. Welcome to a random live stream just because I felt like it. And uh, why not? We say, why not? I don't know if anyone's going to come in or not, but let's give it a go. I know it's early hours of the morning in, well, not too early. It's, I think it may, maybe 6 a.m. in the UK. Pretty late in the US. I don't think I'll get anyone in the US coming in. But, you know, I, I'm doing a fair bit on my Tyrrell here and I'm, I'm up to the wheels, which are a bit boring to videotape for the series. Um, I don't need to go into the details. So I thought, oh, I'll do it live. Why not? So um, hello to anybody who pops in. Um, say hello in chat. Let me know you're there. Can you see everything okay other than my swim, so swim shorts and so forth? Um, first time I've done this uh, live. Hello, there's Daniel. Hey, buddy, how are you? Mr. Go For It Painting is in the house. Mate, I need, a, I need a sound check and a visual check from you. How, how's it all coming about for you? Can you, can you hear me okay and, and, and see me okay? That's the important thing. Um, yeah, I've never, I don't think I've ever done a live stream directly through YouTube. I usually go through StreamYard and set up and schedule and everything, but this one's actually just bang live why not <laughs> so i don't know how much of there of a delay there is um it does say there are two people watching now so that's good that's good let's see if we can get up to a thousand people watching what do you reckon hey eh? i reckon we can do it <laughs> hey what do you think a bit wishful thinking there let me grab a drink um i don't want to start doing too much right now because other people might come in and then they'll miss out on the excitement. Hello, James. How are you, James? Welcome, mate. Morning to you. I know it's morning for you. What are you doing up so early? Hey, what is it, 6 a.m.? Mm. Oh, look at that. That's what I need. Nice cold water. Hey, right now in Thailand, in Chiang Mai, which is everywhere in Thailand with the same time, it is 2 p.m., just after 2 p.m. Uh, it's a nice day. It's a, a clear day, which is good because we had rain uh, yesterday and the night before, so that sort of cleared things up a bit. And you're not up yet, Lord. <laughs> okay, all right, I get you. No worries. 8 a.m. where you are, Daniel. Good on you, mate. And the sun's up. That's good. So... Um, I, uh, yeah, it's a really nice day out there. The sun's out. I've already been down to the pool this morning. Um, it's beautiful in the pool. It's about 30, 35 degrees, 34, 35. I think it's going to get a little bit warmer as we go on. Probably in the next hour or two, it might get up to 37. Um, but it's, it's a nice day here. It really is. And, uh, I've got a lot of progress done on the Tyrrell, which is good. I started working on the decals and uh, uh, on the rear wing, and they've gone down really well, um, beautifully. I just put them straight. I haven't clear coated anything yet. I just put them straight down on the white. Um, the only decal stuff I used was this um, Mr. Mark softener by Mr. Hobby. And that just softens it. So after you've laid it down, taken all the excess water off, you just lay across a layer of this with the brush across it, and it goes up, goes on beautifully. So really happy with that. Um, so I've been doing that. I've also made a few friends here in Thailand through Facebook. They don't live here in Chiang Mai, but they do live uh, in another area in Thailand. But we've made contact and uh, also fellow modelers. So that's really, really good. Um, I'm just checking my uh, replies and I'm getting people. Kathy Hurst, who are you? Kathy saying, wow, good tip. One of the comments on my YouTube video. That was pretty cool. 
Now, I will say that I have monetized this, all right? So there will be ads, but um, I've spaced them out to be every 15 minutes. So there may be an ad when you first come into the stream, but then I've, you can choose the spacing between the ads. And I thought, I think I'm at 18 minutes, actually. I chose 18 minutes. Now, it's, it's strange here because it's doing a countdown. I've never noticed that before where I can skip ads. It says ads will run shortly for some viewers, 21 seconds. But, hey, look, you know, ads are ads. If you got premium, you probably wouldn't get ads. Um. Someone here, good tip. Oh, yeah, yeah, someone here mentioned on my other channel about uh, there's a place where you can get mango rice. That's the name I was trying to think of, mango rice um, down here, which I'm going to try tonight. Um, and there's a fish noodle shop. So, yeah, heaps of good tips. Uh, what else we got? Junk email. And that's about it. All right, I've caught up, I think. Yes. All right. So who else we got? We got six watching now. Come on, say good day. Say something in chat. Let me know what's happening. Um, I'm, uh, as you may all know, over here in Thailand. It's a beautiful day. Um, I might swing the camera around afterwards. We'll see. I've just, you've got no idea that the, the the setup on my desk here is just crazy. I mean, right in front of me, I've got a microphone, a light, my camera, my webcam, and two monitors trying to watch everything that's happening. Oh, and it looks like when I bang the desk, everything shakes. So, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, like I said, I'm on to this, which is our Martini Brabham build. And... Uh, the videos are a bit behind on where I'm actually at. I think I released the second video the other day, um, which is proving pretty popular. I had the third and fourth already uploaded. Hey, modeler, how are you, mate? Close to you? Yes, I am close to you. Malaysia, right? Yeah, you're not. You're just a little bit south of me, in the same time zone too. I think. Good, mate. Great. Ah, oh, mate. That's great. I'm glad, mate. I'm sorry. I'm, you know, it's hard to keep contact with people and watch everyone's channels. I do get over there and watch yours now and then. Um, I know most of you guys in the channel haven't, but check out Modeler. All right. He does some amazing builds. He lives down there in Malaysia and has some great stuff. Um, yeah, check him out. Go and have a look at his channel and subscribe. Mr. Golden V, how are you, buddy? Welcome. Welcome, mate. Morning to you. Um, I think you're one hour behind. Okay. I don't know about Malaysia. So I didn't know there was a difference, but yeah, okay. So yeah, it's two o'clock here, quarter past two in the afternoon. So yeah, we had, like I was saying, we had rain uh, the night before last and quite a storm too. And the first rain I've seen since I've been in Thailand and I've been here nearly three weeks you know, next week will be a month and I haven't seen rain, let, let alone hardly seen a cloud. But the view here was fantastic. I love thunderstorms, you know, and it just came over about 9 o'clock at night and it was all through the night and the lightning show out there was fantastic. Like, I'm up on a high floor here. I'm looking out right across and it was just flashes of lightning and thunder going and it was amazing. But um, – and it, it is, in fact – clear enough today and particularly yesterday because the rain got rid of a lot of the smoke and i don't think everything's dried properly for them to burn off too much today and when i looked out at the view it was the first time i noticed that all the way around in the distance as far as i can see along the horizon are mountains that i never even knew were there before <laughs> if i could look out to the other side of the condo um, block i'm in over where the Ping River is, um, over there is Doi Satep. And Doi Satep is the big uh, mountain that overlooks Chiang Mai where there's this beautiful Buddhist temple on the top, which um, eventually I'll get a chance to go up to. Um, I've been there 10 years ago, but I haven't been since I've been back here. 
Um, but yeah, uh, that mountain, you, I was down by the pool today. I looked over there and you can see the mountain quite clearly. Um, so yeah, I, I'm getting familiar with the area now. You know, I know where the airport is. I can, I'm facing the opposite direction, but from the pool looking across, because the pool is on the second floor and it overlooks the river. And over in the distance beyond that is you can see the, the mountain Doisa Tep, but you can also see the airport. Well, you can see the planes taking off and landing in the airport. So it's fantastic. Anyway, um, enough about that. Gosh, um, I need to check on what I got to do here. So I need to, I'm doing the rear wheels. It says rear wheels here. Um, and I'm going to ask you guys for a bit of advice um, how I've got to do something. So I'll wait till maybe there's a few more in. We'll see. Oh, it's funny. It, uh, you know, I did actually state before the stream that the ads would be every 18 minutes. And now I've got another one counting down from a minute saying ads will run shortly for some viewers. It gives me the option to skip. Let me know in chat if you if ads are popping up. Uh, often because if they are I'll skip them I'll, I'll get rid of them because I don't want that disrupting live stream I when I thought I don't usually run ads during a live streams I monetize and click advertis advertising for the replay but not during a live stream I find it disrupting but when I saw it for 18 every 18 minutes I thought well, that's not bad if I go for an hour well, it's only going to be three ads over an hour. That won't be too much. But, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Let me know in chat. Um, so, uh, yeah, the wheels. So I need to get J1 and J2. They're going to be painted TS29, which I think will be um, semi-gloss black. Yes, it is. TS29. That's the only color. Yeah. And paint after assembly is for the writing, which I'm nervous about because I have a um, always find that difficult on the tyres. But we'll see. I've got some Posca pens and just general paint to use, so I'll see what choices I can do. Um, but that's after they're fitted to the rims, which have to be painted and dried and everything else. So let's have a look. J1 is this one here so let me just clip that off i've got a question to ask about these tires too um let's have a look j1 and j2 okay that's not hard j2 it's turning into a really nice build um I can't show you at the moment. It's out on the balcony where I've got the um, decals um, all drying at the moment because I'm hoping to get the clear coat on today. Um, and I've still got more decals. I don't know if you're still there, James, but or anyone really. I've got to put a decal on top of a decal. All right. So there's a round circle. I'll show you in the picture here. All right. So see that, right, that, I can bring that over. See, that is a decal with the film underneath, all right? And the number seven is a decal that goes on top of it. Am I going to have a problem sticking a decal on a decal? You know, what, what's the trick? You know, I, I don't know if I've had to do that before. Um, just lay it down as normal. I'm not sure. Um, yeah. So um, have you settled in nicely to your new humble abode then? Yes, I have. Yeah, I'm, I'm very comfortable in here. Uh, it's, it's, it's got everything I want. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm really happy, um, especially for the price. Like it's – I got this so cheap for the size. 46 square metres is almost double the size what newer places have. Um, yeah, for the same price or more. 
um, some of the older buildings, even though they're older, they're all renovated inside the condos like this one is, and you get much, much more space. So, you know, and one of the good advantages of this place here is it faces to the east. So the sun rises up just off my balcony here, and it's only till about, say, 9.30, 10 a.m. in the morning where the sun's moved around and I no longer get the sunlight in here and it doesn't get hot. So as the hottest part of the day comes up at lunchtime in the afternoon, it's on the other side of the building. And I literally have not had to turn on the air conditioning even once since I've been here um, because also I have this big window on the side that runs the width of the room that can slide right open and then my balcony door but on top of that, the um, front door that goes out into the hallway, this building is really, I don't know how old it is, I have to find out, but the hallway is really wide, all right, and you get quite a cool breeze in that hallway. And if I leave my door open, my I have two front doors, so the main front door I can open, then there's an external wooden door with a lattice on it but it's also got mesh put there so you don't get mozzies or anything come in. Um, but it, And you can have it open and people can't see in, um, but it does let the breeze come through. So when that's open, I can get a breeze coming right through this place and out my balcony door. And with the ceiling fan buzzing around on the roof, which I never turn off, um, it just circulates and pushes the cool air through and out there and I don't even notice the smell of the smoke in here, which is which is good. Um, the sun sets really quickly there. Uh, yeah, I think so. I, it comes up pretty pretty quick, but only because it's a burning season. There's a lot of smoke out there, and you don't see it until it's well above the horizon. So if the, if the sun rises at say say six thirty a.m it'll be half an hour before you'll actually see it clear all the smoke in the distance. And then you see this bright red ball of light appear, you know, well above the horizon. Um, afternoon. Yeah, I don't know. I'm usually in here when it gets dark, but yeah, it, it does get dark fairly quick. And I don't think the sun goes down till about seven o'clock. Uh, what's burning season? Okay. So burning season runs between, end of February and April and towards the end of April. So it's three months of the year where all the farmers in Thailand, mostly up here in the north, farming sugarcane is the main crop. Also in the surrounding country of Burma, which is not far away, and Laos and Cambodia, um, they burn all the crops at the end, crops at the end of the season. They burn everything. I think if I read right, they it's all the corn leaves that they don't use on the ground. They burn it all because it's too much expensive and too man much manpower to go along and pick them up after the crops have been harvested. Um, unless you're a, a, a wealthy farmer and you've got farm equipment, you can do that. Um, but that needs to be moved. It needs to be getting rid for the next planting for the new season. So they burn it, and and when they burn it, the whole sky fills with smoke over the two and a half months of what they call the burning season at the end, and it gets really bad. In fact, um, Chiang Mai about four days ago now was ranked number one in the in the world for the most polluted city uh, for two days in a row. So it was the most polluted city two days in the world in the in the world. And um, it, um, it came up, I have an app on my phone that tells you to, um, the rating of the air pollution. And it came up saying um, people with uh, medical conditions or asthma or things like that could be affected by it and to stay indoors. Um, yeah, it was pretty bad that day. I, I didn't, I don't have any condition that it bothers, but it was pretty... Um, they're pretty bad. I would say to do that in Scotland at this time of the year, they burn the heather. All oh, right, on the hillsides for sheep grazing. Okay, 
Yep. The problem here is, see, the burning is not really the problem. The problem is that Chiang Mai is in like a basin, all right, and it's surrounded by mountains. So there's no wind, all right? So the smoke has nowhere to go, and, and it just fills up and just sits there like a fog. And like right now, there's not, there's hardly a breeze out there. Although there's a little bit of a breeze out there today, but most days it's just completely dead still and hot, and the smoke just just hangs around, you know. Burning, yeah, yeah, burning makes the soil more fertile for the new crop. That's right. Indonesia burns a lot, yep, and smoke comes over to Malaysia, yep. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's, a, it's a big problem, and and we and not sure what the solution is. Um, you know, there are companies out there. I know up here there's a few large cement companies. G'day, Brian. Welcome, mate. How are you, Brian? Morning to you. Um, there's a large cement country, um, company up here that offers farmers money for the leaves. So if they bring, if they, you know, get their village people to go along and collect all those leaves and print, put them in a truck. They pay so much per tonne and they'll use them as biodegradable um, um, fuel to burn in the factories and, and do it that way. And, and, and in that way, at least the farmers get some money, whereas burning it, they get nothing, you know. So there's, But it's got a long way to go apparently before it's, the problem's going to be, you know, I mean, the government's trying to do things as well to stop the burning, but it's not really helping, you know. People have been doing this traditionally for too long. It's pretty hard to make them stop. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, so good day, Brian. Welcome, mate. Fantastic. Um, what am I getting messages on here? No. Mention you. Okay. Ah, huh. there's uh, quite a few modelling groups. Unfortunately, I don't speak much Thai, so it makes it a little bit difficult. Um, what else we got? Anything else? No, memories. Got memories to share? Facebook. One year ago. No. Three years ago, what was I? No, not doing much. No. Five years ago, oh, I bought my, I started building a new computer. That's interesting. Um, eight years ago, I was in uh, North Africa, in Morocco. Oh, nine years ago, I was in Morocco, Northwest Africa, and then France. I like this. What else? And uh, that's about it. 13 years ago, doesn't tell me where I was. Yeah, anyway, that's much, so much for Facebook. <laughs> All right. So what have we got? Eight people. Eight people in chat. Good one. Here, yeah, I'm not getting much done, am I? I'm just talking too much. Trying to get these wheels done. I've got a question for you. There's a few of you in there now, a bit of experience. There's the wheels for the Formula One car. Nice looking rubber wheels. Okay. So if I was at home and I had my Dremel, <laughs> I would run the Dremel around here to get rid of that line down the center of the tire. Okay. Is that, I don't have a Dremel here, that won't work. So would you just run your sandpaper across all this? Just sand it? You know, I've got all sorts of different grades of sandpaper. And, and just sand this off. It's going to take longer than I would with the Dremel. But I don't want to leave it there. I see a lot of people build these and they leave that center line. And it's not there on the real thing. Really, it's not there, so why have it? You, know? you pick shop for you. Hello, buddy. Welcome. 
and Anthony Jones is there. Hello. Oh, and Craig Jenkins is there. All, all, all the pommies are waking up. Hello, Eric. You're there too. Welcome. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning to everybody. Don't you people work? It's time to go to work, isn't it? Gosh. Anyway, there we go. There's our big rear tyres. We've got some writing on Goodyear on here, which I'm going to very carefully probably use my Posca pens to um, to do those. Yeah, I don't know an easy way to do that. I'm not too concerned about the big wheels. It's the smaller front wheels they are going to be a bit harder because they're not even raised. You know what these things are like. you just got to get between the lines perfectly. Um, so I bought, I'll show you, my selection of pens here. Uh, oh, you work four on, work four off. Okay, that sounds good deal. So there's a, there's a white one there, Posca pen. So that would probably do on, on there okay. Most of these other ones are um, gold, brown. When I did the Queen Mary, did all the railings. we got black ones. Silver and chrome, popular. There's another white one. So I've got two of them. Uh, but yeah, silver and chrome are good, especially for nuts and bolts uh, on Formula One cars. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, I don't need to do that yet. Got a bit to do before that. So that's going to work. All right. Um, oh, we got ten people in. Like I say first time I've done a straight live on YouTube without using StreamYard, um, seems to be working fine. So so how do these wheels go together? Let's just do a quick test fit. Do I need to tidy that up a bit? Maybe I should just get that burr off there. I'm not going to see it, but anyway, there's no valve in there. How they put air into them, eh? Could scratch, scratch build something maybe. Yeah, we can take that off there too. That's all. All right. Um, so that way, that goes there. Obviously, we've got to paint these, so I'm just doing a test fit right now. That's going to go in like that. And, well, that's not hard, is it? Eh? So I'll be able to do the little – these shouldn't have wheel nuts, should they? These should have like a – you know, that drill that goes in and takes off that center piece, center cap. Um, yeah. Anyway, so that, that's brilliant. They're going to be done in semi-gloss black, so they'll be fine. Let me get the other pieces off for this wheel. There you go. Um, yeah, so if anyone has any questions, um, just ask yourselves because I wouldn't have a clue. No, I'm just joking. Don't ask me about Spitfires. I have, <laughs> I don't know anything about Spitfires. Yes, I do have a Spitfire kit. Yes, I will be building one. Um, but I didn't say when, so time will tell on that. We will see. Oh, that looks all right. Yeah, that's good. All right, where's our tread? Is it a right way or wrong way? They look like they've got good gear on both sides. Yeah, so that can go in there like that. That goes in there like that. Two wheels done. There you go. So, yeah, would you hit that with sandpaper or just a sanding stick, you know, like these ones here. All right, these are really good. So all I do is just, just work my way and just take that off, that seam off the centre there. Yeah, that, that'll, that'll work. 
that'll work. I wonder if the next step is the uh, front wheels. Let's have a quick look. Ah, well, there you go. That's interesting. Front wheels and rear wheels. Oh, I didn't even. How silly am I? So it is front and rear wheels on here. I thought it was just one. Well, then they, is that right? Are they the same size front and rear? Let me go check. Let me grab the other. No, no, these are much smaller. Look, much smaller. So, see, I made a mistake already. Oh, no, they fit both. Is that right? Yeah, they will too. Or not? No, see, I did it wrong. See, you're distracting me. It's your fault. When are you going back to another ship? It's been a while. You've been bikes and cars. Yeah, I know. I know. I, look, now that I'm here, I'd love to do another ship. Um, I really would. Look, I'm going to show you. My next build is going to be a motorbike, all right? It's a Honda Monkey, okay, because they're very popular here in Thailand, and I, I enjoy doing bikes. Then after that, well... You know, you know I bought this thing, all right? Look at that. Yeah. Now, that's not going to just take a couple of weeks. Probably not even going to take a couple of months. There's over a 1,000 pieces in this. This is full interior kit. This is mini art. We know what that means, you know. I mean, every bit of the real tank is in here. So I'll tell you what. It'll be a while before I build a ship, but I promise it'll be after this. I promise. Okay? Because I really do want to build another ship. I don't know. Um, I don't know which one or which scale, but that's way off. So we'll, we'll see. Yeah, you were going to tell me that, were you, Brian? After I'd already glued them in and... <laughs> sure, sure you were. Look, see, they don't go on there. It's, see, they look the same size. Well, no, they don't now that I look at it without my magnifying glasses on. They do look different, don't they? All right, let's try and check this out. So... Again, we've got writing on front on both. So that's going to go in there like that. Yeah. Make sure that's in. And then that one goes in there like that. Is that right? Doesn't seem to want to fit there properly. I mean, let me just pull that out. Ah, I see. Yeah, just like the real tire. There you go. That's how it goes, Brian. All right, Brian. That way. That way. <laughs> oh gosh. Um. Let me just check what's happening in chat. Oh, this is cool. Good. No one mentioned the commercials, so that's good. I haven't interrupted anybody. That's good. How are we going? We've got 14 people. Come on. 14 people? There's only like six saying hello in chat. Come on. Say hello in chat. Let me know where, you, where in the world you are. And give me a thumbs up. I'm only counting five there. You know. Not that I'm asking for much, you know. Just... <laughs> okay, let's try this. Get this around the right way. Ah, dropping parts now. Like I don't have carpet. All right. So that goes in there. We'll just do a quick test this way. Yeah, ah, I see. Yeah. 
here. There we go. Make sure that that's right up the, on the edge of the rim. Looking good. That one goes in there. That's fine. They're going to have to be clamped in place for that glue to hold. Let me just put these up on here. There we go. See? That looks better. There we go. See? Yeah, but I will be sanding that center seam off off there you know I, I want i want it to look like they've done like maybe 10 laps 10 laps not not a brand new tire and even brand new tires not going to be have a join mark down the middle is it I mean, seriously all right now we can get these ones off these are the deeper dish ones obviously because these are for the rear wheels okay you got that these ones are for the rear all right don't have to worry about getting these mixed up or being too accurate because they can't be seen where all these sprue nubs are. Obviously, they've got to be painted. We're just doing a test fit here. Always test fit. Otherwise, you could be putting the back wheels on the front, front on the back. We can't have that happen. Can we, Brian? No. No. <laughs> 13 watching. Excellent. I should bring it up on my phone. Let's see if I can get the stream up on my phone because I got the notification. Let's see. Yes, there I am. Turn it down. Give myself a thumbs up. Turn the volume down because otherwise that'll just get distracting. Uh, let me close chat for a second. There we go. Extra thumbs up. How about that, eh? Fantastic. What else can we do here? Hey, can I give myself a super chat? That'd be silly, wouldn't it? Can't do that. No. No, get that back up. Oh, 14 watching. Good on you. Someone else just popped in. Welcome. Jack Williams. There he is. The notification of your starting a live stream woke me up. <laughs> well, sorry about that. What do you got notifications on for and the volume up for? Huh? Huh? Woke you up. Come on. What is it? Six o'clock. Should be up anyway. Is it 6 a.m.? <laughs> oh, look at that. 15 viewers. Fantastic. We're doing well. We're going for a 1,000 viewers, all right? So share this out to all your friends and we might do it. We might do it. 1,000 viewers. Hey, with 500 thumbs up, that's what we want. <laughs> Excellent. I can't get chat back up. Why can't I? Description, go away. Uh, where else we go? There it is. There you are. Brian's saying it's 7.44 a.m. UK time. Oh, see, it's late. What were you doing sleeping in that time for? Hey. Best time in the morning. Uh, best time of the day is the morning. Mm. Mm. Oh, I love that water. Hey, beautiful tap water. I boil it first. See, I boil it the night before, let it cool down, fill up my plastic bottles in the fridge, and then I'm good to go for water for the day. Instead of having to buy water all the time, they don't suggest you buy, you drink tap water here. Um, but it should be okay if you boil it, right? That would kill anything. It's Jack saying it's 7.30, but forgot to turn volume off. But I needed to wake up anyway. See, there you go. What's for breakfast? Hey, all you English people, what are you having for breakfast this morning? Anything special? I'll tell you what I had. <laughs> so for breakfast this morning, I had... Banana and honey roti. Oh, wasn't that good? Oh, is that right? Hang on, we've got to concentrate here. Am I doing this right? Yeah, of course I am. I can only go one way. Yeah. 
It's going to be tricky to glue, though. It doesn't seem to fit too well. Hmm, okay. The trick is... Yeah, I'm just going to have to clamp them as they dry. But uh, there we go. So there, that'd be the deep dish looking down. Sorry, I'll look at the camera angles. There we go. So that's that one. Um, yeah, um, banana roti. Oh, with honey. Oh, I'm hooked on them, eh? There's a couple of Muslim girls downstairs in the cafe, and they do some really nice food down there. And the banana roti, there's all types, egg, cheese, whatever you want, and they're all about... 30 Thai baht, okay? So that's about a dollar ten, Or if in the UK, that's about 20p, <laughs> probably. About 40 pence, all right? And in the US, it's probably about 70 cents, 60 cents. How's that, hey? Isn't that amazing? So, um, yeah. So that's what I have for breakfast. There we go. Yeah, they, they're going to have to be glued, but that'll be fine. All right. Uh, so I've got these new friends in Thailand here. They joined me onto their group chat. I'm going to disappoint them now because they've asked me, which state did you live in, as in back in Australia? And then they say, actually, the real question is, do you follow AFL? Unfortunately, I don't. <laughs> Um, Jack's having a cup of coffee. You can't eat that early. Okay. Um, plus one hour in Hungary for uh, go for it painting for Daniel. Okay. And uh, Andrew Worthington's there. G'day. Thought I'd just drop in and say hello. G'day, mate. Welcome. Thank you for dropping in. Um, and everyone everyone's saying hello and there's a big pink wave pink wave there we go how's my microphone is i know when i turn to look at the chat i probably get a bit quieter and then turn towards the microphone <coughs> and i get a little bit louder my deep deeper voice now my voice sounds crap this morning i mean this afternoon probably all the smoke <coughs> Yeah, I'm losing my deep voice. I used to have quite a deep voice. I don't tend to now. Um, so, oh, I just got approved to join another Facebook group, so that's great. Um, well, big welcome. Thank you. Oh, good. Everyone's welcoming me to the JMSM. Richie Lamb and two others. Thumbs up. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll catch up with that later. Otherwise, I'm being rude on my mobile phone while I'm live streaming. Gosh. Hmm. Oh, nice cold water. I got a beer in the fridge. I don't drink. I just thought I'd better. I just thought I'd buy one. And then I realised that I don't have a bottle opener. I thought, oh, damn. And I'm searching around. I'm like, I don't drink. I don't know how to open a bottle of beer without a bottle opener. I don't know. And then I realized that it's a twist top. Apparently, it's a twist top. So maybe tonight I'll open it. But it's it's a big bottle. I mean, I'll get completely pissed. <laughs> I will. I don't drink. So how am I going to, you know, do you want to see the bottle? It's It's the same brand as my shirt. Okay, Chang. Chang's the beer here in Thailand. I'll grab it. I'll grab it. One. Give me three seconds. Well, oh, five seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right. There it is. There it is. Look at the size of the bottle. You know, I don't drink. I like I like the taste of this. This is good. I just don't normally drink. You know, it's how many mils is this? Uh, oh, I've got to try and put my magnifying glasses on. It's all in Thai. No, 620 mils. So it's brewed 
B, uh, brewed at the B Thrip, B Thrip, that's right, T H I P, brewery um, in a place I can't pronounce. And the ingredient says water, malted barley, rice, and hops. What are hops? <laughs> hops. They like bugs. I don't know. Now, there was an alcohol percentage in here. Uh, no. I thought it said how much. Ah, 4.8%. Is that a lot? Probably is for me. So, anyway. So, yeah, apparently it's a twist top. Or if it's not, I'm supposed to hold it like this and get the edge of a knife and pop it up. So I'll figure it out. Yeah. Uh, product of Thailand. All right. Like I said, matching the shirt. Chang. Chang, Chang. Chang, Chang. That sounds like a song. No. Anyway, I'll put this back in the fridge. Um What's this? Oh, up and fed the pup and had your breakfast, James. Good. I'll be back. I'll put this in the fridge. There we go. Oh, good. Hey, and look what I've got. A bit of something special they got here. The old Skippy peanut butter. Hey. Creamy peanut butter. Well, actually, it doesn't really say peanut butter on there. It just says Skippy Creamy. So, you know, it tastes like peanut butter. That's all that matters when you're eating stuff. I've got this thing saying ads again. Let me know if you're copying an ad right now. Eh? Morning from Sunnyless Cornwell. Oh, mate. Is it? Yeah, I bet it's cold. I bet it's not 36 degrees Celsius there, is it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't be. All right. So they're done. Those need to be sanded and the rims need to be painted. I wonder if I could put the tyres on after I glue these rims together. Do you think they'll slide on? No, it's not telling me to put them on. Normally with instructions, you see, normally instructions, it would have those two together and then it would tell you to put the tyre on. But just the fact that they're putting it on with the tyre means that, yeah, probably best the way to do it like that. Okay. Um, I've done all this. I've done all the seat. Look at all that. So we've got a little photo etch for the buckle and the race harnesses and all that goes into the bucket seat. Do you want to see what that looked like? I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. That doesn't mean you skip my video when it's on or right, when it comes out. You're just seeing a sneak preview. You know, you guys really need to hit that join button. That's what members get. A heads up and preview of stuff like that. Anyway, here we go. So there you go. Look at that. Not bad, eh? Our shoulder straps, harnesses there. Look at that. Looking good, eh? And the rubber seat just pops straight in. There it is. Pretty cool. That was a little bit fiddly, but lucky I did I've done that when I built the um the Tyrrell. So a bit of experience, but the cloth ones are really nice. They certainly look more realistic, don't they? Yeah. You know, if you're really, really nice, I might go and uh, bring the car in. You can have a look at uh, some of the, um, the decal work I've done, which uh, went on really well, um, especially using the softener stuff here. I'm really lucky. There's a great hobby shop, as you know, it's called Winner Hobbies and has everything I need, everything I need. Um, yeah, the, the video I did up there on YouTube of the store, they appreciated that so much. 
they've offered me 30% off every any kit I buy, 20% off any paint or tools, and uh, 10% off um, something else. <laughs> I can't remember now. Um, but yeah, yeah, huge, huge discounts. And Mr. Golden B says, I've not tired of Mr. Cement yet. Yeah. Okay. You know, oh, I'm, Andrew's working on a M113 based Hawk missile carrier at the moment. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. Um, I'm not far off finishing this car, actually. I mean, once once I put those wheels on and the seat on, that's pretty easy. Uh, it's just a matter of doing the front air dam, the cockpit shroud, and the bit up on the top behind the driver, and, and they go on. They all have to be painted yet, um, and that's it, and decals. So, so, yeah, it won't be long at all, and I'll be on to the monkey. I'll show you that bike. I'll show you this one. So here it is here. Okay, have you built that? So I'm going to build this little fella. It's a 112 scale Honda Monkey. Um, yeah, not much to it. All two sprues, three sprues plus some clear parts. Yeah, and then of course we got the usual rubber tires springs um rubber seat in there which is good and all the tubing for the hose lines and everything brake lines and everything i don't know what color i'll do it yet maybe i'll do it a color that i've got here i don't have much i've only bought see when i came here i couldn't bring any paint so i started with nothing other than what i bought for the tyrol uh, not the tyrol a brabham here um that's all I've got. I might do it blue. I do have blue. Or I'll go back down the hobby shop and go get something. I don't know. We'll see. You know, but, uh, you know the hobby shop is not far away. Uh, I can jump on an Uber. Over here they call it Bolt. Okay, so a Bolt will um, is like a motorbike taxi. You can choose taxi or a car. Almost the same price, but taxi uh the advantage of getting on the back of a motorbike is that it's a lot quicker and it's a little bit cheaper but it's certainly much quicker because you know how they ride through the traffic crazy so it's about uh, 15 minutes on the back of a motorbike down to the hobby shop uh, and it cost me about oh gosh three dollars less than three about three dollars uh down there three dollars back so it's all good Atoll's there. Hey, buddy. Morning to you. Welcome, mate. Welcome. So do we do we agree the best way to take this center seam off is just to file it? You know? That's how I did my... I'll do it outside because I know this rubber gets everywhere. But I'll just work around and get that center seam off. The small tires have got the same one as well. I actually seen a guy finish the build on YouTube, I looked at his tire and he still had that seam in the middle of it. And it really just stood out. And I thought, come on, why didn't you take that off? Didn't look right. Anyway. Um, everyone's saying hello to everybody. That's good. That's good. Um, yeah, what was I going to do? Oh, I was thinking about showing you guys the car with the, the decals I've done so far. Should I do that? Should I do that? Even though you're not members of the channel and you don't get these extra perks. Oh, oh well, you did come in at my off-the-cuff live stream. So, all right, I need five seconds this time to get out to the balcony and carefully bring the bike, bring the car inside. All right. I have to bring it in anyway because I've got another deck with I got the number seven deck. I'll show you anyway. Give me seven seconds. I'll be right back. I don't have a be right back screen to put up or some gone away music, but all right, I'll shut up. Back in a sec.
Nearly there. So close the door. All right. Here it comes. Here it comes. All right. So, how? How are we going to do this? All right. Firstly, I'll show you the rear wing. It's going to focus. There we go. So there's the rear wing with the decals on it. Lighting's not so good here, is it? Especially when it's white. Look at the focus going crazy. There we go. Let me bring it down here. Maybe if I move this out of the way, because that's big and white. There we go. It's a bit better. So we've got Goodyear on the side. And they've gone on there perfectly, like smooth as silk. All right. That one's ready to be clear coated. I've just got the Tamiya clear. I'm going to spray that with uh, and give it a good 24 hours to dry properly before I touch it. Now, but the other thing I wanted to show is, I'll just put that there, there we go, is the actual car. I'll put it where it's safe. All right, here it comes. All right, check that out. Now, I'm just going to, I've actually got it up, raised on there because the decals go right along the bottom of the thing now. I don't want them touching anything. So there it is. So that went on both sides. Looks pretty good, eh? Whoop, whoop, tires, get out of the way, tires. There we go. All right. It's all right, eh? Um, Eric, how are you, mate? And Kelvin, how are you, mate? Welcome. Um, the heat and humidity, there's heat, but there's not much humidity. So I've had no problem. I'm using Mr. Hobby Paints, and uh, they're spraying out beautifully. So I've had no trouble. Um, yeah, I water airbrush, not a problem. Um, I don't think it's humid. It's a, it's a fairly dry heat. Um, but yeah, so there it is. So that the round part is where the number is going to go. All right. So in that round, in this case, it'll be number seven that I'm doing. This is the one from the German Grand Prix. So this is my question here. That is decal film in the center of that circle on both sides. I have to put a decal on top of that. I've never done that before. All right. So that decal has got to go in the center of that decal on top of the decal. Do you, am I going to have any problems or I just put it down as, as normal? You know, um, just place it there as normal. I think it should be all right. Let me know. Let me know. Um, but you can look at the engine. Look at that detail in that. Like, <laughs> you know, those exhaust pipes twisted the way they do and the fit is incredible. Um, all the spark plug leads are all, are all connected and I've just noticed then that most of them, they, I didn't even glue them. That one's come off. So that's come off the distributor. Yeah, distributor. So they're quite a tight fit. It's just probably caught on me. Everything else is on, but I'll, I'll just leave that to the side so I remember to plug that back onto the distributor cap. But, yeah, they went on well. The fuel lines, no problem at all. Um, all these structures and all these supports and the sway bars underneath, it's just amazing. I've done a little bit of blue on some of the connector joints for the hoses. Um, I've just got to be careful how I handle this. But you'll be able to see under the back, see all the blue, where all those hoses connect up to the oil coolers. Those are oil coolers down in the back there. Um, the clear red on the rear light that flashes when it's raining. Um, so... 
that's where the wheels will go on the back of there. That's all that's got to go on that now. Um, and then on the front, we've got the radiators at the front there and uh, fire extinguisher down front in there. All the gauges are on metal backings. They have little metal plates to go where the gauges socket goes and then on top of that were the decals. And then to give them that glass-like finish, I put some um, clear coat and just dabbed it in there with a bit of with one of the icky sticky brushes so that you get that shine on the gauges. Even the um, toggle gauges, uh, I don't know if I can show you how good this camera is, but if you can see just on the dash there, if it will see the toggle switches, I did them all in silver, aluminium. They just flick up and down. You've got to remember this is from 1975, all right? Um, you'll know there's no steering wheel yet because I haven't been asked to do that yet. Um, but it will turn, see? See, you can see? So the front wheels will turn and all the suspension works as well. But once those tyres are on, it will go up and down, albeit it's quite stiff, but the suspension does work, all right? So what I will do today is... Um, Andrew's saying you shouldn't have problems if the deck underneath is completely dry, Pete. Yeah, right. I will make sure it's completely dry. I was thinking of putting that number seven on. Look, it's only three in the afternoon now. I've been going an hour already. Wow. Um, so maybe, look, you know, just to be safe, I'll do it tomorrow. Okay. I'll put the number seven on there tomorrow. I'll give it about till lunchtime, so four hours or so, then I'll do the clear coat over all the white. Um, that spoiler on the rear, the rear wing, that's ready to clear coat now. But uh, I may as well do it all at once tomorrow. Yeah. Um, today, I'll, um, I'll spray the rims. Yeah. I'll put this away out of sight um yeah i'll i'll spray these rims today glue them or well, i won't glue them together because i've got to do that with a tire on but i'll i'll undercoat them with the black mr surfacer and then i'll hit them with the uh, semi-gloss black i'll do that today and uh yeah and that should be fine all right and yeah, I'll send that seam line off. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, yeah, you always got to have a plan. <laughs> so there we go. All right, another drink of water. Mm. You know, I bought this thinner, acrylic thinner. This is when I was going to buy Tamiya paints. Um, and I didn't have the X20, whatever it is, thinner for it. So I went to this Gundam store. And uh, hello, Brian's Diecast Thailand. How are you, buddy? Welcome. I'm just going to guess where you are. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, I got this stuff here. Look at that. Acrylic thinner. Um it's supposed to be very good, but the smell is just way overpowering. I mean, I'd, I'd have all my neighbours complain just opening this up. It's uh, really, um, yeah, very powerful stuff. But I did get this one as well from the same Gundam store, and this is a gloss varnish. And I was told that this was like using Pledge or using 2K. Um, it isn't. Okay, I tried it. I used it on the bottom of the car, on the silver, uh, underneath the um, body of the car, and it didn't shine up mirror-like like I wanted to. And being a varnish, it also took a while to dry. I mean, 
probably wasn't properly dried for about three or four days. So I'm in no rush to use that again. These were fairly cheap, so no great loss. I would love to find something that is like 2K that isn't 2K if it exists, something that gives you that mirror finish that I could buy here. Um, yeah, because I love the 2K stuff. And as you know, I was fully all for using outlaw paints, um, but not available here. I couldn't bring any over here. I had to give it all away. But um, I really want to... Uh, his diamond 2K stuff was just magic, beautiful. Um, but that's the only time I've ever used a 2K. And when I asked them at the hobby shop here about 2K, they didn't know what I was talking about. So um, the other thing is, I'm sorry if you're getting ads, they're only timed to happen every 30 minutes. All right. Um Yes, yeah, so yes, uh, you're 30 minutes north of Bangkok. That's not far. That's, uh, that's nice. Uh, Bangkok has some really good hobby stores. Uncle Yu, I think you pronounce it. Uncle, I can't remember now. I did a video on his store. Apparently, he's got a new store now. Moved into a new place. Um, looks really nice. I've been to his old shop and I was amazed by that especially where he had next door all the other um, space set up for people to come in and work on their models. You know, they were getting ready for a big model show in Bangkok. So I guess that was about two years ago now when I did that video and um, they were working on uh, all their models for the show. And you are uh, 350 kilometres northeast from Bangkok. North East. Okay, I'm not familiar with that area either. If it were northwest. Oh hang on. Yes, northeast. Are oh, you out near Karat? Are you out near Karat? Isan. Nakon. Rachitami, yes. Okay. Nakon, yes. Been there. Been there. I was there last year. I was out at Karat, south of Karat, a village, a village called Song Sang in the south, uh, about an hour, hour and a half south of Karat. Yeah. Very nice place, but a bit too quiet, <laughs> a bit too quiet for me. But they had the best pork belly. Over here they call pork cow, okay? So you got to go, when you want pork, you got to ask for cow. A little bit confusing. Um, but, boy, I had the nicest pork the other night. Oh, But the language was a bit of a problem. I had to explain. I, it was just a roadside stall. And she had there, I said, I just pointed. I said, this cow, pork, with rice and egg. Yeah? And then they called someone up over the across the road to come over to translate. And I thought, oh, okay, he speaks English and Thai. But no, he wasn't much better at all. I tried to say to him what I wanted. So we're out there with Google Translate on the phones and I'm typing in pork belly, rice and egg. And there we go. And finally, ah, yes, yes. And then no spicy, no spicy. It turned out really nice. But the thing is here too, see, I'll go out tonight and that same food place may not even be there. They just pop up. And they're there for a day, a few nights, and they disappear. Some never come back. Um, and pork, I just can't seem to find it anywhere. I love crispy pork. Pork belly, you know. Anyway. Um, here not sometimes. Special when, uh, when pilots from Hong Kong and Singapore come to make uh, their practice flights at Wing 1 together with Royal Thai Air Force. Can you get any Thai aircraft models? Does any um, manufacturer make Thai aircraft models? Because that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Says me who's never built a plane. <laughs> yeah, I've got enough worries of this Spitfire. I've got to 
try and do at some point but anyway um yeah so yeah that's it i think i'm i'm running out of things to say i think that's all i've got to show you've seen the car at its current state i'll probably finish that in the next few couple of weeks um, but like i say i was going to release i released one video a week a week on my build okay and i was thinking of doing one tomorrow an extra release just so you guys would catch up to where i'm at so maybe you know maybe i'll um, put out the uh, part three on tomorrow tomorrow yeah i might do it tomorrow because then i got the live stream on sunday night which is here saturday morning for those of you in thailand you probably won't see that because i get i get up at 4 a.m for that just because all my subscribers are either in the uk or the us and it's at a decent time and or in australia where it's in, later in the morning but here i have to get up at 4 a.m that's okay i'll do that for an hour hour and a half and i'll go back to sleep <laughs> um, as for my other channel well i need to make another video on a subject for that i was thinking about doing that tomorrow um, 6 p.m uh, pizza has arrived oh good on you god i miss pizza <laughs> there is a pizza place here all right mate thanks for coming in on the live stream mate uh and coming into chat cheers andrew welcome thank you mate enjoy your pizza yes uh what's that big pizza place here i've got the app for um uh grab on my phone i haven't even used it yet for food deliveries um so yeah i've seen that on there the pizzas we'll see I'm on a budget, so I've got to be careful. You know, you go buying stuff like pizzas and KFC and stuff like that, and you know, one meal there could have been two meals and a coffee. You know, at, at, in a, a small store somewhere or a shop on the roadside. You know, so now once a week I'll shout myself to something a little bit more extravagant, I suppose. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to finish up the stream here, guys. Uh, thank you all for popping in. Um, yeah, it was, it was fun doing something random like this. Um, here was an F-16 and F-15, also not far, the helicopter base too. Well, that'd be interesting, get some photographs. Okay. Uh, clear pop uh, prop. Oh, they do it. Uh, Curtis 75 with Royal Thai Air Force. Oh, okay. So there is H75N. Clear Prop. Oh, Clear Prop. Yes, that's a new brand name. I noticed at Winner Hobbies. Uh, I'd never heard of them before. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. I'd like to do that. That'd be interesting. God, so much I'd like to do. And so much time to do it okay no rush all right everybody thanks for coming in and uh saying hello on the live stream thanks for all the thumbs up and uh yes beer o'clock soon yes i'll be cracking open that bottle if i can <laughs> uh in a few hours maybe all right thanks all catch us all later and don't forget i'll be live streaming on the weekend and I might release the part three of this uh, Formula One car build tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. All right. Have a good. Well, well, maybe I can quickly just give you a. No, no, no tour, no tour. Or can I? No, I'm going to drop things if I try filling with this camera up here. Where are we? We can move stuff out of the way. There we go. I'll bring it down here carefully. Whoa, here we go. Going up. There I am. Here I am. There's, there it is. 
Whoa. What was that? What was that, they ask? That was a bottle of glue that did not break. Whew. Thank God for that. <laughs> there you go. Here we are up in the penthouse. And I'm not going to move this anymore because that was super glue that went down. Tip, everyone. Always put your lids back on. Eh? There you go. All right, guys. Catch us all next time. Bye for now. Here we go. Bye.